Welcome to section 2, getting started with Angular CLI. So now that you have Angular CLI in your system, we're going to learn about the basics. First, we're going to take a quick look at how a CLI works. Then, we're going to generate a custom app by running a single command. We'll take a look at the configuration files generated by Angular CLI. After that, we'll learn how to turn commands into reusable tasks that we can leverage through our development cycle. And finally, we're going to learn about Linton and how it helps us write nice code that follows the Angular style guide. Let's get started using CLI commands. Command line interfaces, or CLIs, have been around for a very long time. However, these kinds of tools haven't been part of the toolset for front end developers until recently. A CLI works by accepting input commands as text, processing those commands, and giving you back some response as text too. Let's get into a terminal for a real example. When the terminal, console, or command prompt is waiting for some input, you'll see some text at the start of the line where your cursor is. This is called the prompt. Currently, my prompt is indicating which directory I'm working on. This character stands for my user's home directory. If I create a directory and change into it, you can see that my prompt is now indicating that my working directory is test. The Angular CLI understands this dash dash version flag. People sometimes use flag, parameter, and option interchangeably, so you have to watch out for the context. In the case of the Angular CLI, the first argument after ng is the command that you want the CLI to execute. 